So this is Allure for Annalie and she is a new character for Grand Blue Fantasy and it's a short trailer but I'm gonna com compact this into like people talking about it. One with Allure and the article and my reaction video trailer piece if I, if I just do like all three of them they will be really short so I'm just gonna combine them all together and her lore is very short I hope they update this but she's 18 she's a dwarf and her hobbies are sonification making such as Japanese series. oh so she likes baking likes her family her parents younger brother younger sister sleeping sleeping in and dislikes people who disturb the peace yeah makes sense and this is the unofficial translation, amateur trailers, and am amateur translations, so these might be wrong. And there isn't really anything more to it. Not really anything more. Her trivia, um, Annalise charge attacks are a reference to Terry Broad's this dispression moves from the King of Fighters. Oh really? Oh wow. Certainly not a game I was expecting, King of Fire. This follows the reoccurring theme of Zodiac characters using special moves from S and K. Fighting game fighting game characters. Gilded have Heaven Strikes is based on power it gives you. Fury of Ram is the Buster Wolf. And Ellie's character is a banter with Andrew with win the battle. Interesting. In Malology, like other divine general, Grandbook Fancy, her name is Derivative from the twelve heavenly generals and buddhism her name is the romanticization of the corresponding general general sanskrit name hmm interesting it's not really much about her yeah there's not really much that's why it's just, i want to come back this into short because it's really short so let's get on to the next one So Annalise announced for Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. Today, the Science Game Cup Special 2023 was happening and as promised, there was an announcement for Grand Blue vs. Rising at the event. The first character revealed for the game sequel was Annalise, the Sheep Thing Zodiac, who was raised as a possibility but not our main predictions in the speculation piece regarding the new character's identity. And also me and my friend wanted this girl for so long because her character design and she also had those really cute sheeps that could be used in battles that we see a lot of characters use their dragons or an, any animal themed characters use and I'm so happy she's in there and hopefully other characters because she was really popular in Japan and most of the votes are mostly in Japan so I kind of figured hopefully she'd be in there and I was really really happy when I woke up to news that she's in the game and I was so happy like finally but there's not really any news update my friend told me there's not like any really states for her yet so maybe next month i don't know maybe we haven't really seen any gameplay footage as it says that although there's no gameplay footage it was shared that Annalise was stated that the next show will be shown on march 4th so in about a week which will be likely show off Annalise has to offer as a combatant until then we got a quick description of her which means that she is an all-around character who fights with a pologram and comes with a quip um apologies and anti-air and rush down attacks during the presentation the game's director Tessia mentioned that which this may be make her so like she's just a basic character like grand she actually had a lot more moves to get into and like there's a lot of experience and more hardcore player to explore her as well basically described as an easy to learn but hard to master makes sense character looks forward to seeing more of the enemies when she is presumably gets to see her gameplay on March 4th, and seeing Annalise is a character who is the source of a game of Grand Blue Fantasy, is packed with various fighting game references already, even possessing the fighting game references of Terry Bross, the iconic Busty Wolf. There are surely a lot of joy once we get a closer look at her. There was also further detailing on the new system coming to Grand Blue Fantasy versus with the slide explaining that the gameplay directions of Grand Blue Fantasy Rising as well as the new mechani mechanism to dash attack and new triple attacks which you can find down below. Yeah, just one right here. So apparently she's gonna- I kind of figured she was gonna be an easy character because I was like, hmm, 
I feel like she's gonna be easy, but let's see how other people play her. So maybe she'll be easy, but she's really hard to master. So Grand Buffet's Reverse is Rise is scheduled to release on 2023, which is recently announced that the tournament featuring the beta version of the game will be present at the EVO 2023 this summer. And that's all like the news she has, the lore, and this. So it's gonna be on March 4th, which isn't really that far behind. It's February, but it's not near March yet, so hopefully we'll get it soon. And the last one will be for the trailer. Ooh. Very pretty Unreal Engines. Oh, it's so cute! Finally! Uh, I've been waiting for forever. Really, I've been waiting for forever. Grand Blue Fantasy versus uh, that's so exciting. Next shit up March 4th. Excited? And I heard the new updates for the Grand Blue since Grand Blue Fantasy versus was like kind of boring like every time they announce a new character everyone jumps on playing the character because it's usually the dlc is a very low price they're like five dollars a time but usually they're like five dollars so everyone buys them and then the we get bored of it and don't play it ever again which i am guilty of doing because i do get bored because there's like i play story mode and i defeated mostly everyone the story mode for each character that came out and if you're not like doing competitively for like casual players, there's not really much. So I'm glad that they're doing like more events for like casual players because every time lobby mode is in, it's just like very empty. You can find a few people and most people will try to like find other Twitch streamers or just like people on Discord just to play with them because there just was less people playing the game like every single time and it feels like it was getting neglected for their mobile game and everyone was just like upset and also the netcode wasn't really that good so i have no idea what they're gonna do if they're gonna do netcode i hope so since the internet if you even have good internet too somehow you still get problems which is really weird so hopefully they fix that because sometimes people go to other like other regions like japan i went to japan there was like even though it's popular, but it's just very few people. All over the world, it's just very few people. So hopefully this just brings more people to playing the game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and like these. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye, little roses.